Hey guys, tonight I'm planting up a really quick pot combination. This one is called Bermuda Skies and I'm using a 12 inch diameter pot that I've already put soil and slow release fertilizer in. So now I just get to start planting. Uh, first plant I'm gonna use is the Bermuda Beach Supertunia. This is probably one of my favorites this year. These are actually considered a filler and a spiller because they do have kind of a mounding habit and then they'll trail. Next plant is a Super Bell's Yellow Chiffon and I love this soft yellow color. This is a wonderful trailing plant. I'm gonna break up the root memory a little bit. Put it right there in the front. The last plant in this combo is the Laguna Sky Blue Lobelia. And this is just a really nice soft color, nice soft texture, just to kind of complete the look. And one thing that you can do throughout the season with this type of arrangement is as it grows in and produces more uh, trailing arms, intermingle them together, kind of mix them in so that you'll have some lobelia coming out this side and some supertunia coming out the front. And that way it'll look more like the pictures that you see. A lot of times you see these combination pictures and you can see all the different colors all over. And then you pot them up at home and you've just got your yellow coming out this way and your blue coming out that way. If you're just a little bit more hands-on as it's growing, you can intermingle the branches together just to get a little bit more of a uniform appearance to your combination. Don't be discouraged when you're on Pinterest or looking at websites and you see these big beautiful full combos just use it as inspiration because you can get there they don't typically look like that in the very beginning it takes fertilizer that's why i always use my slow release and then consistent fertilizing and care throughout the season uh, in this type of container this is a short pot and you all know that these things trail pretty dramatically so you can go in throughout the season and trim them up keep them nice and tidy and then they'll get nice rounded full of blooms on the other hand, you can plant all of these things in a hanging basket and let them trail beautifully without even touching them. So there you go. This is all done. Super simple combination. I'm going to go put it out in my garden and enjoy it as the season goes. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey everyone. I just got a hold of the most gorgeous hydrangeas. This is called a Let's Dance Diva and it's part of the Big Leaf Hydrangea group. And I also just got a couple of these basket weave pots and I think they're gonna look really pretty together. But I really just wanna focus on this.